At CES 2015, we're seeing the next leap in 4K TVs. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. The show floor is officially open at the International Consumer Electronics Show, and if it's anything like last year, there will be more than 160,000 people from more than 140 countries swarming the floor, all here to learn about new gadgets coming out this year and beyond. Before the show floor opened, there were a ton of major news announcements. Televisions were a big part of the spotlight on press day, as LG, Sharp, Panasonic, Samsung, and Sony debuted new models in 4K Ultra HD resolution. That's four times as many pictures as 1080p. There are some 4K TVs that curve, some that are crazy thin, and some now with better colors, thanks to quantum dot technology that uses nanocrystals. LG steps things up by using OLED instead of an LCD panel on these color-boosted 4Ks. OLED is amazing, but expensive. For reference, the current curved 65-inch model costs 10 grand in the US, but other LCD 4Ks will have more practical prices. This could be the year you consider buying a 4K. Sharp showed off a TV that says it's beyond 4K TV, describing it as an image that begins to approach 8K resolution. But before we get carried away with 8K, the real question is where you can get 4K video to watch on these TVs. Well, several TV manufacturers announced partnerships with video providers like Netflix, Disney, and Fox to set standards for Ultra HD content. Sony talked heavily about making more shows and movies available in 4K. And speaking of content, the satellite provider Dish announced a new type of internet TV package called Sling TV. For $20 a month, you can watch live TV from a handful of channels, including CNN, ESPN, TNT, and Disney. You can watch it on a Roku, Amazon Fire TV, or your computer or tablet, but there is much more beyond TVs. LG brings a curved screen to its new G Flex 2 smartphone, and since it does have some flexibility, it could be the ideal smartphone for people who sit on their smartphones. There are even some phones from companies you'd never imagine making phones. Energizer is making phones with big batteries that can last twice as long as an iPhone 6. Kodak has a phone it wants to sell to baby boomers. It's a very simple Android phone called the Kodak IM5 with a focus on photos. Lamborghini even and has its own phone. It'll cost you $6,000. For that price, you get special shatter and scratch-proof glass, the same that's used in Lamborghini's own cars. There's much more to talk about this week, including smart home appliances, car tech, and all sorts of quirky accessories. You can find more at ces.cnet.com. From the Las Vegas Convention Center, I'm Bridget Carey.